So we have a deep freeze headed our way and headed off into the coop. This is our quarantine area. Those are a couple of our new girls that we're introducing in with the rest of the flock. Wanted to make sure I did a nice deep clean in the coop, knowing that they're gonna be spending a lot of time in there with this freeze coming. So I cleaned up the quarantine area because we had three more babies that we needed to get added into this coop, but they are not ready to get introduced to our larger flock just yet. After finishing up cleaning the quarantine area out, I moved on to the nesting boxes. We had just introduced a couple new girls in with the rest of the flock. So they're all starting their pecking order over again. And found a couple eggs while cleaning out the nesting boxes. Had to gather those up. One of our girls can be a bit of a bully. She's picking on some of the girls that we had just introduced a little more than usual. I'm just gonna rake out all the straw and put it in their run. They have, don't really spend too much time in their coop. They have quite a large run outside, uh, but with the freeze coming, I know they're gonna be spending much more time inside. I also wanted to make sure they had a nice semi-insulated place to go outside if they felt up for it. Doing just the last little bit of cleanup before heading out to get some more straw and add the extra bedding to the quarantine area, the nesting boxes, and the main portion of the coop. Since we have a couple smaller babies coming in the quarantine area, I do have a heat lamp for them just to help take the edge off of how cold it's going to be and then filling up their dry feed. Working on trying to figure out the best way to set up the dry feed and the water for the quarantine area. We don't really have an area that we can hang their water. So we have a smaller water that sits in there. And with the straw being so deep, they need to be propped up a little bit, otherwise their water and food just gets covered in their straw. So we have a couple other bowls that I set on the bottom and then set their food and water on top of those to help keep them above the straw. So take out all the waters, got them scrubbed out really good, nice and clean and filled up. This is our heated waterer uh, that has been working wonders. And then we have this smaller water to put in for the quarantine girls. And we're just gonna see how that goes. Our first year having chickens, 
and with it being so cold, we're kind of just testing everything out. So my kids are helping me bring in our three new girls that are going to go into the quarantine area. They were in a tractor previously uh, with a heat lamp, but with the temperatures dipping so low, negative 11, plus wind chills, we wanted to get everybody in the coop together uh, to keep them as safe and warm as possible. Then everyone can start getting used to each other too, and in a couple weeks uh, we will open up the quarantine area for the new girls to join the rest of the flock. Don't forget to like, follow, and share. Thank you for watching.